Hey guys, so we have a square with sides 10 by 10. If we stick a quarter circle inside of it that has a radius of 10 and then another circle right here, what is the radius of this red circle? Pause it if you guys wanna try it on your own. And I'm gonna show you what I would do in three, two, one. So first thing I would do is drop a line down here. And so we know this little side right here is also equal to R, which means this remaining side is gonna be equal to 10 minus R. And if we do the same thing here from the center, bring a line across, this will also be equal to R and this would be equal to 10 minus R. And if we draw a diagonal across here. This part in the blue circle is going to be equal to 10 because it's the radius of the blue circle. And then this little piece in the red is going to be R because that's the radius of the red circle. Let's focus on this triangle right here. We'll color it green. This is going to be a right triangle and the height of this right triangle will also be 10 minus R. Since it's a right triangle, we can do A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So a can be this bottom one here, which would be 10 minus R squared. B can be this height, which would be 10 minus R squared. And C goes all the way from here up to here. So it's going to be 10 10 plus r squared. 10 minus r squared plus 10 minus r squared is equal to 2 times 10 minus r squared. And then we can just bring down this side. We can then square root both sides. So on the left-hand side, we have a 2 and a 10 minus r squared. Well, the 2 would become square root of 2, and 10 minus r squared square rooted is 10 minus r. And then on this side, the square root of 10 plus r squared is 10 plus r. Now we just got to solve for r. Let's distribute the square root of 2 to the 10, giving us 10 root 2, and the square root of 2 to the negative r, giving us minus root 2 r. And that's still going to be equal to 10 plus r. Now we have an r on both sides. Let's move them all to the same side. We'll add root 2 r to both sides. And then while we're at it, we can bring this 10 to this side. So we'll subtract 10 from both sides. So on the left-hand side, these two terms cancel each other out, leaving us with 10 root 2 minus 10. And on the right-hand side, these two terms cancel each other out, leaving us with r plus root 2 r. Both of these terms have a 10, so we can factor a 10 out. And then 10 times what gives us 10 root 2? That's root 2. And then 10 times what gives us negative 10? That's negative 1. And then on this side, we can factor out the r. r times what gives us r? Well, that's 1. And then r times what gives us root 2 r? Well, that's root 2. So now our r is almost by itself. We can divide both sides by 1 plus root 2. And so the left-hand side looks like that, and the right-hand side is just going to be r. And now we've solved for r. So from here, you could just plug this into a calculator and get an approximate value. Something else we can do is called rationalizing the denominator. If we want to get rid of this root 2 in the denominator, we can multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of 1 plus root 2, which is 1 minus root 2. This takes a little bit of work, but it should simply simplify into 30 minus 20 root 2. And if we plug either one of these into a calculator, we get 1.71572. How exciting.